What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, just did a video on the P47, we just finished that. But uh, real quick, before we, before we get into that video, I just wanted to show you guys these uh, sweet t-shirts, man. Just got these in. These are the new t-shirts, dude. These are awesome. I like it. I mean, what, what, what better way to represent your own channel than to have your own merchandise, your own, your own memorabilia? Absolutely sweet, man. I am absolutely loving the t-shirt. I actually uh, had a bowling tournament last night. I wore the shirt to the bowling tournament. And, uh, you know, no, nobody knows what Dave's RC is there. I, I don't tell my bowling buddies about my my uh, my channel. One, one of them knows about it. But uh, he actually noticed the shirt last night. And he's like, that's pretty sweet, man. He said, what did you get sponsored? And I was like, no, man, I just bought some t-shirts. Crazy. Sponsored. Huh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, 143 subs. I'm getting sponsored. Um, no, but the t-shirts came out good, guys. Um, I have to go to bowl. I actually have to go bowl again tonight. So uh, the, 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 these two days have been crazy, man. So I am going to go get some sleep. Enjoy the video that's coming up. Um... If you guys want a t-shirt, I know I know you guys probably, you know, most likely won't. But uh, if you guys are interested, whatever. You know, one day this channel could be huge. And you're going to be uh you're going to be lucky that you got that t-shirt when you did as early as and early in, as early into the channel's infancy as uh as it was when we got these t-shirts when these t-shirts were done. So uh just just remember that 10 years down the road, when Dave's RC is huge. You're like, "Damn, man, I wish I would have gotten that." That Dave's RC t-shirt. And probably should have had him sign it too, huh? No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, guys, enjoy the video. I'm out of here. Later. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, finally, finally, the P47 is done. So I'm just going to go and like show you guys the systems real quick and just show you like how amazing the retracts on this thing are absolutely ridiculous. They're so beefy. They kind of remind me of the retracts on, on like the, um, um, on the, uh, a 10 warthog. They're just so beefy and just, just got look, like so much, so much bounce to them, man. I mean, these are just some ridiculous struts right here. Big, big, massive tires, huge, massive tires. These tires are huge. I can't even get my hand all the way around them ridiculous super 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 buff it's a super buff plane man it's a lot it's a lot bigger obviously in person than you guys are seeing for yourself but it's got the lights in it already nav lights and um i do have uh i do have the radio set up already I'll actually, I'm going to stand the plane up and I'll show you guys, I'll cycle the retracts for you. I do have to adjust one of the gear doors, but, um, uh, I do have my high rates and low rates. I already, I already got my high rates in. So, uh, I believe that's high rates. Uh, hold on one second. Let me, let me check it out. Let's see if that's the high rates. Yeah, that's high rates. And then I got low rates. Those are my low rates. Low rates are badass on this. That's going to be perfect. Just perfect. No prop blade on it, guys. Yeah, just being cautious and careful. Um, yeah, hold on. Let me pause this up and uh and I'll get I'll show you guys. Oh, actually, let's let's show you the flaps first. Um, I do have two settings of flaps. Um, I really don't use flaps all that much except for maybe landing and that's about it. That's a, that's about as far as I go. Very short. Very, very, that's, that's very, very small. It's probably about a half inch of deflection. And then I do have all the way down as well. That would be like, I don't know. I wouldn't use them. I just, I don't use them. I can land I can land this plane just fine without flaps. But if I have to use any, that's it right there. Just a little tiny 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 deflection. 
and obviously I, I don't use flaps to take off just to land and only sometimes um, as a matter of fact when I crashed that a10 warthog you guys saw that video when I crashed that a10 warthog I was using the damn flaps all the other times that I landed that plane the first time I used the flaps and I was like oh that came in way too soft I didn't like that and then all of a sudden I used the flaps that day I don't know why I shouldn't have and boom uh, came in flopped down on the ground uh, busted the front pin to the front gear which has already been fixed I fixed that a while ago but um, yeah that was uh that was a crappy day man I was a uh, um, not upset about the fact that I hurt my plane, but upset more or less with the fact that I kept telling myself not to use the flaps, and I use the flaps anyways. And then, boom. So, I usually don't use the flaps. No big deal. I like to have a little bit of speed as I'm coming in. The plane will stop. It'll stop on its own. Let me uh, stand this thing up, and we'll get a good shot of the retracts. What a pain in the arse that was. Huh. Pain in the booty. All right, so hold on, guys. I'm going to grab my radio here. And I'm going to come chill right here. They already come pre-painted like that. Really nice suspension struts. I, um, I'm i really digging the way, like, you see how I'm, I can take this wheel and, and go like that? See how it doesn't spin? That's cool because that's telling me. See how that one doesn't either. So when you hit the ground... To land they'll act as kind of like brakes all right let's check out these gear the tail gear does retract too which is freaking awesome um a lot of these bigger scale planes like flight line 1600 millimeter spitfire they didn't have the um retractable tail wheel i don't know man i think with these bigger scale planes like this they should all be retractable but i'll show you that first that goes really quick quick out and then down here these 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 are awesome man i I'm, I'm actually excited because i have retracks that are actually that are actually working I don't think that retract came out all the way. Let's see. Oh yeah, it did. Okay, yeah. I was getting ready to say it didn't look like it came out all the way, but it did. It's it's out all the way, and so is that one. But yeah, this is um, this is a pretty rugged plane, man. This, um, the phone is, the foam is real thick and tough and, uh, 6S power. I can tell this thing is just going to be just all kinds of fun. I mean, um, Jeff, Jeff Nichols, is that one of, one of the guys that I watch on YouTube? He's, he watch he's actually watches my channel too. He's got a flight line. What is it? Flight line Spitfire? I think it's a, I think it's a flight line Spitfire. And I think he might even I think he actually might even crash that. I thought I seen a video of something saying that his Spitfire was not doing so well or it wasn't doing very well at all. But yeah, dude, big plane, big plane with really big honking retracts. Unbelievable. Ridiculously awesome, sweet plane, man. If you guys are in the market for a big P-47, I would go with this. Oh, like I was saying, his flight line Spitfire is also a 6S. So a lot of these planes coming out with 6S now, this one is actually a 1500 millimeter and it's on 6S. So this thing's supposed to be a rocket ship. RC Informer, I watched him fly it. I've watched a bunch of guys fly this, and 
this thing moves moves and it just handles like a dream so we'll see how it goes man that's the update we were gonna go maiden it today but uh let me show you what i woke up to today get in here come on get over here come on no 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 you just went out you're not going out again don't even start i'm not chasing you around the yard let's go yeah, so there goes my, my my maiden. Half a foot of snow on the ground, and it's still snowing. It's supposed to snow for the rest of the night. We're supposed to get like another foot of snow. So not only was it bad enough that we couldn't fly because it was cold, now the snow's back. So I'm not going to be able to maiden this thing until this snow disappears. God knows how long that's going to take. Anyways, guys, short little update, blog video. P47 is done. We'll be taking out the Hangar 9 P51, and we're going to start building that thing. Uh, we're going to start putting the plane together, all the little small stuff that uh, needs to be done on it. We're going to be doing that one next, and I'm going to be going step by step through it, um, just in case I get stuck too, and somebody out there can help me. Um, but anyways, guys, short little blog. P47 is done. What else did What else did I had? I had something else I wanted to say. Oh, Minnesota Vikings. Go Minnesota Vikings. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, so uh, stay tuned for that Hangar 9 video. That's going to be fun, man. That's that's a big plane, and it's 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 really nice, and it's going to be really cool to actually go step-by-step step and put that thing together. Um, and then uh, as soon as I can, we'll get up and maiden this, guys. Sorry, I don't have the weather up here that lets me fly all the time. So my channel has to, it has to take a break during the wintertime because of this. So, uh, no fun, man. No fun. That's why I want to move to Florida. Well, for a lot of other reasons too, but that's why I want to move to Florida. But anyways, guys, I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC and I am out of here. Later.